everyone, welcome back to Tiny Poet Actual Speaking. It is time for Lesson 33. Welcome everyone, it's great to have you joining us. Today we'll be talking about money. Yes, that is our topic for the day. So, let me begin by asking you a few questions. So think about these questions, all right? Are you a big spender? Or are you the opposite? Are you a small spender? Do you splurge on things every once in a while? Or are you stingy? Meaning, uh, you're very careful when it comes to spending money. Are you stingy, especially when it comes to paying for things when you're out with your friends? And another question is, have you saved up enough money? You know, when it's time to file taxes, that's when I think to myself, hmm, I guess I didn't save up enough money. All right, everyone, that is our topic for the day, so let's get started. Okay, it's time for us to begin, everyone. You know, when it comes to spending money, spending money is a no-brainer, which means it's very easy and simple. It doesn't require much thought. We spend money very easily, but making money is a whole different story. So let's once again talk about money, which happens to be our topic for today's lesson. As always, let's brainstorm our cues with the five W's and how. Let's begin with the first W, which is who, right? So who or what type of spender are you? As I did ask you in the beginning of our lesson today, are you a big spender? Meaning, do you spend a lot of money or are you a small spender? Meaning, you don't uh, actually spend that much money. We tend to save a lot of your money, okay? All right, let's move on to our next question. Who do you consider to be a big spender? As I mentioned, if not yourself, Think about someone, maybe a close friend or a relative that tends to spend a lot of money. Someone that you know that is a big spender. So who is it? Okay, who do you consider a big spender? Moving on to our next W, our what questions. What do you spend your money on the most? So what do you tend to spend most of your money on? Okay, and then moving on to our next W question is what do you avoid spending money on? So these questions are quite the opposite. First of all, what do you spend a lot of your money on? And the next question is, what do you avoid spending money on? So what do you try not to waste money on? Okay, in other words. Our next what question is, what do you regret having spent money on? Hmm, I think we all regret spending money on some things in life. You may go out and splurge on something. You may spend lots of money shopping or paying for drinks perhaps. Yeah, and those are the times that I regret having spent so much money sometimes. Sometimes when you party hard, you may spend way too much money, right? Okay, our next what question is, what are your good and bad money spending habits? Okay, so we have talked about all different kinds of habits, right? Sleeping habits, and also when it comes to just this and that, all these different habits, but let's focus on your spending habits. So what are some good spending habits of yours, and what are some of your bad spending habits? Think about that as we move along. Our next what question is, what were some issues or problems you had with money, okay? So oftentimes, because of money, we may be in trouble or we may have issues related to money. Maybe not having enough money to do something or buy something. So if you had any difficulties, any issues or problems with money, think about what they were as well. Now let's move on to when. When was the time you spent the largest amount of money? So think about what you spent the largest money on. Next, where do you keep your money? This is a rather simple question. Where do you keep your money? Do you keep it safe at home, perhaps in a safe, or do you keep it in your bank account at the bank? So let's think about that as well. And our next where question, where does most of your money go? Of course, money cannot move, it cannot go, but this is a way of expressing where does most of your money go? Meaning, where is most of your money spent? Okay, what do you spend it on? 
Let's move on to why. Why do you spend so much money on? Okay, now I left that blank for you because in the beginning we talked about what you spend the most on. So think about why you spend so much money on what you usually spend a lot of money on. The next question is, why do you avoid spending money on so-and-so? So why do you avoid or try not to spend money on that or doing that, okay? And then moving on to our next why, why do you think you have not, haven't been able to save up? Okay, save up is another way of saying saving money. So why have you not been able to save up? Perhaps for example, hmm, you made a promise to yourself. Okay, this year, you know how we set New Year's resolutions in the beginning of the year? So you might tell yourself or promise yourself that you will save up a certain amount of money. Let's say for example, mm, 10 million won, okay? And then you were not able to save up that much money, okay? Think about why you have not been able to save up that much money. All right, finally on to our how question, our final three how questions are, how do you make and spend money? We make money and we spend money, right? So think about that question. Also, how do you save or manage your money? Manage, which means to take care of. Okay, what do you do with your money in order to save it, perhaps? And our final how question is, how did you break your bad spending habits? Remember we talked about your good spending habits and bad money spending habits. So if you had bad habits or a bad spending habit, think about how you broke that, how you changed that, all right? All right, well that is all for our brainstorming cues for today. Think of some more on your own as we move on to our next segment, which is actual talk. Yes, I just got paid. Really? What are you going to spend it all on? Usually I have to spend most of it on rent and food, so that's probably where my paycheck is going to go. Oh, you're not going to splurge on anything? Well, I have been saving a lot of my money lately, so I feel like I deserve to splurge a little bit. Mm. I really want this handbag. <laughs> Women in handbags. I it's don't understand it. It's what makes the outfit. So uh, I think I will splurge maybe on a handbag this month. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to think about it. Though. <laughs> I do like to live within my means, um, especially nowadays. I feel like people really need to have penny pinch and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I'll have to give it a thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've never been a big spender myself. I try oh, okay. to live within my means as well. Yeah. Um, and save what I can. That's true. That's a smart thing to do, but I, I mean, we're only human, so we do kind of, we want like the latest gadgets, you know, the latest uh, watch and things like that. So are you saying you don't really splurge on those things? I splurge on things to do with business. Okay. Um, so a new computer if I need one. Oh, right. That's a reasonable, you know, uh, purchase. Yeah. Uh, and then a lot of stuff for the house, for the family. Uh, my three best, biggest expenditures are coffee okay. <laughs> to stay awake, yes. uh, diapers, okay. <laughs> and formula. And, oh, so a lot for your children, it seems. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to spend money on them. Yeah, it's a good, <laughs> a good investment, right? Because yeah. in the end, they'll take care of you, mm -hmm. hopefully. So traditionally, I, I don't buy expensive cars or you know expensive clothes or things like that, but I, I like to spend money on food or mm -hmm. things for the kitchen to make you know, lifestyle at home, more comfortable. Yeah, I think those are uh, good ways to spend your money. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like to spend my money on food, like you said, like going out and getting good food. I don't mind actually uh, dropping a lot of cash on good food, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. So. Well, I think uh, things are tight for a lot of people these days. That's true. So it's good to save when you can. So how did you enjoy today's actual talk between Peter and Rachel? Of course, they were talking about money, their spending habits, what they try to do and what they try not to do. For example, what did Rachel say? She tends to spend her money on, or most of her money on what? Rent and food. But she's thinking about maybe buying herself, splurging on something, uh, spending money on a nice handbag or a purse. 
Uh, and whereas Peter said that he doesn't really spend that much money. Okay, he is not a big spender, but he does tend to spend some money or large amounts of money on things that he really, really needs. But normally, he spends money on his little babies, his two boys, and his family. All right, let's check out the dialogue line by line then. Okay, first of all, Rachel began by saying, yes, I got paid. She sounded very excited, right? Hmm. I get excited too when I get paid, don't you? Okay. Moving on, Peter says, what are you going to or gonna spend it all on? Okay. All on meaning, where are you going to or what are you going to spend all that money on? Another way of saying it is, what are you going to spend all of it on? Okay. Now notice the difference. Spend it all on or spend all of it on something. So keep that pattern in mind. These two can be used in all different situations. Now Rachel says usually she's talking about what he uh, what she generally does. Normally, generally, usually I spend most of it, okay? Most of her money, her earning on rent and food. Now keep in mind, you spend money on something, okay? Spend money on food. Spend money on drinks. Spend money on books. So keep that in mind. Now Rachel says she spends most of her money on rent and food. So that's probably where my paycheck is gonna go. Now once again, my paycheck. What is a paycheck? A paycheck uh, actually is another word for salary, okay? We get paid at the end of the month, which we call a salary, and a paycheck is the same thing as well. It's your salary. So she says, usually I spend it on food and rent, so that's probably where my paycheck is gonna go. That's probably what I'm going to spend my money on, in other words. All right, and then Peter says, you're not gonna splurge on anything? Now, splurge, I did mention that earlier on. To splurge means to spend a lot of money. Spend money crazily, lavishly. You go crazy spending a huge amount of money, but he's saying, what are you going to splurge on? Or aren't you going to, or you're not gonna splurge on anything? Let's take a look at what Rachel said. She says, well, I have been saving a lot of money. She's been saving lately. So I feel like I deserve to splurge a little bit. So she's saying, well, I've tried very hard saving a lot of my money lately, so maybe I could splurge a little bit. And she says, I really want this handbag. So she's talking about what she possibly will spend her money on. And Peter says, of course, women in handbags, I do not understand it. Do you understand? Well, if you're men, most likely you will not understand. Anyhow, moving on, Rachel says, it's what makes the outfit. Now, if you did tune into our previous lessons, I'm sure you know what that means. Something makes the blank. Something makes the outfit in this case means to complete the outfit. Uh, no matter how nicely you are dressed, if you are not carrying a nice purse, well, it does not complete the look, the outfit. So she says, well, girls need nice handbags. And then anyhow, she says, I splurge on, okay? You spend money on, you splurge money on a handbag this month. So she might buy a handbag, but she says, I'll have to think about it, okay? I like to live within my means. Now that is an idiomatic expression, to live within one's means. Now means itself, could mean several different things. It can mean definition of something or a way or a method. I'm sure you've heard of what type of transportation means do you use, right? Well, in this case, to live within your means, it means to spend as little money as possible, okay? So say, for example, you earn 100,000 won. Then, well, to live within your means, it would mean to spend maybe about 20,000 won or 30,000 won, spending as little as possible. Nowadays, I feel like people really need to penny pinch. Pinch is what? To pinch someone, right? And a penny is perhaps the smallest denomination when it comes to coins, one cent. So to penny pinch means to spend 
a little bit of money, okay? Just a little bit of money. She says people really need to penny pinch these days. A lot of people are trying not to spend too much money. Now, Peter says, I've never been a, sp a big spender. He's never been a big spender, which means he is a small spender. I try to live within my means. Once again, he says, I try to live within my means, which means, that's right, I try not to spend too much money and save what I can. We all should save what we can, right? Now, Rachel says, but we're only human. Oh, we're only human which means it's hard, it's difficult, it's natural, okay? We're only human, so we want the latest gadgets. The latest, the newest gadget. What does a gadget mean? A gadget is usually a small device, okay, like electronics. Our smartphones are gadgets, MP3 players are gadgets. We usually call small electronic devices gadgets. So she says, we want the latest gadgets, the newest devices, the latest watch and things like that. So she asks, are you saying you don't really splurge on those things? And Peter says, I splurge on things to do with what? Business. Aha, uh -huh. so this is where he spends his money. Splurge on something means to spend a lot of money on. So he says, a new computer if I need one. Only if I need one, I splurge on a new computer. And he says, and a lot of stuff for the house, for the family, okay? My three biggest expenditures. An expenditure itself is what? Hmm. It's another word for expenses money spent, okay? So my three biggest expenditures, meaning the three biggest things I spend money on, okay, are coffee to stay awake, okay, coffee, and diapers and formula. So diapers and formula, of course, for the babies, right? And he says, traditionally, I don't buy expensive cars or expensive clothes. Now here, traditionally, hmm, of course, it means 전통적으로, right, in Korean, but he's saying traditionally in this case, it has nothing to do with a certain culture or history. He's saying generally, normally, usually, since a long time ago, meaning traditionally. So he doesn't spend that much money on expensive cars or expensive clothes, but I like to spend money on food or things for the kitchen, right? He likes to cook. So Rachel says, yeah, those are good ways to spend your money. I really like going out and getting good food. Good food meaning very delicious food, although they may sometimes cost a lot of money. Quality food, good food. And she says, I don't mind dropping a lot of cash on good food. So drop cash on something means to spend money on drop money on something, spend money on something. So she doesn't mind spending money on good food. And of course, Peter says, well, I think things are tight for a lot of people these days. Hmm. Tight here means what? Of course, a shirt can be tight, a skirt can be tight, clothes can be tight, shoes can be tight, which means it's very hard to fit in. You can barely move in tight clothes. But here it means not having enough money. So if you say things are tight for people, it means perhaps the economy isn't so good. People don't have enough money to save. They have no other way but to save money. He says, so it's good to save when you can. Now, when you have money to save, save it and try not to spend it or wasted on things you don't necessarily mean. And that brings us to an end of today's actual talk. Take a listen to it one more time and check out the subtitles. Yes, I just got paid. Really? What are you gonna spend it all on? Usually I have to spend most of it on rent and food, so that's probably where my paycheck is gonna go. Oh, you're not gonna splurge on anything? Well, I have been saving a lot of my money lately, so I feel like I deserve to splurge a little bit. Mm. I really want this handbag. <laughs> Women in handbags. I it's don't what understand makes the it. outfit. So uh. I think I will splurge maybe on a handbag this month. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to think about it. Though. <laughs> I do like to live within my means, um, especially nowadays. I feel like people really need to have penny pinch and stuff like that. Mm. But I'll have to give it a thought. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've never been a big spender myself. I try oh, okay. to live within my means as well. Yeah. Um, and save what I can. That's true. That's a smart thing to do. But I, I mean, we're only human. So we do kind of, we want like the latest gadgets, you know, the latest uh, watch and things like that. So are you saying you don't really splurge on those things? I splurge on things to do with business. Okay. Um, so a new computer if I need one. Oh, right. That's a reasonable, you know, uh, purchase. Yeah. Uh, and then a lot of stuff for the house, for the family. Uh, my three best, biggest expenditures are coffee okay. <laughs> to stay awake. Yes. Uh, diapers. Okay. <laughs> and formula. Oh, uh, so a lot for your children, it seems. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to spend money on them. Yeah, it's a good, <laughs> a good investment, right? Because yeah. in the end, they'll take care of you, mm-hmm. hopefully. So traditionally, I, I don't buy expensive cars or, you know, expensive clothes or things like that. But I, I like to spend money on food or mm-hmm. things for the kitchen to make you know, lifestyle at home, more comfortable. Yeah, I think those are uh, good ways to spend your money. Mm -hmm. Uh, I really like to spend my money on food, like you said, like going out and getting good food. I don't mind actually uh, dropping a lot of cash on good food, to be honest Mm -hmm. with you. Well, I think uh, things are tight for a lot of people these days. That's true. So it's good to save when you can. Now that we've gone through the actual talk dialogue twice already, let's check out some useful expressions you can use when it comes to talking about money. So if you find yourself in a situation, having a conversation with a friend or whoever about money, you can use these expressions as well as in an English interview. So keep them in mind. First of all, let's check out some ways you can talk about spending money in general. So how you generally spend money, okay? You can say, I spend half of my salary on rent. Now keep in mind once again, spend money on something, right? So you spend money, salary, okay, on rent. So in this case, we're saying half of my salary. So you get your salary, 100,000 won, for example, but you're spending 50,000 won on rent. Once again, I spend half of my salary on rent. Another way you can use this uh, pattern is I spend about 10%, roughly 10%, around that much of my expenses, okay, of my expenses on entertainment and hobbies. So this pattern is I spend a certain amount of my expenses on entertainment and hobbies. Another one. Now this time, you can talk about money that is spent, but money that you usually regret spending something on, spending money on something, okay? So instead of spending money on, you can say, I waste, okay? I waste about 15% of my income on things I don't necessarily need. So income, once again, is another word for salary. Another word for salary is, as we heard in the dialogue, that's right, paycheck, P-A-Y-C-H-E-C-K. So you can say, I waste about 15% of my paycheck or income on things I don't necessarily need. Okay, let's move on. So my brother's accounts are always in the black. Let's check out one more. I've been in the red for 10 straight weeks. So what do you see common in these two sentences? These expressions, right? Okay, in the black and in the red. So what does in the black mean? In the black, do you think it's good or bad? Actually, it's good. If you say I am in the black or the company is in the black, you are saying that you have money. You are not in debt. So my brother's accounts are always in the black meaning, my brother's accounts, they're always full of money. He's always got money. On the contrary, I've been in the red for 10 straight weeks. That's right. Now, if in the black means you have money, in the red means, boo boo, there's a warning, a warning meaning you don't have much money. You're in debt, perhaps. I've been in the red for 10 straight weeks. You're struggling because you don't have that much money. Moving on, now ways to talk about spending a lot of money this time, okay? Let's focus on that. 
I splurged on my wife on our 10th wedding anniversary. So here you may take a look at splurge. You splurge on something, right? But you're splurging on a person. What? On your 10th wedding anniversary. Perhaps you took her out to, to a nice restaurant to have dinner. You bought her a very expensive, nice present. You spent a lot of money all at once. You can say, I splurged on someone or I splurged on something, okay? Now, once again, we're talking about spending a lot of money. Now, I shelled out 500,000 won for car repairs today or yesterday, whenever. Now, the uh, expression here is to shell out a certain amount of money, okay? To shell out means what? A shell, for example, hmm, you can open it, right? A shell. So when you say, I shelled out a certain amount of money, it means I spent that much money. I spent that much money. I shelled out 500,000 won for car repairs today. I spent this much money to repair my car. Another one, I paid an arm and a leg for a laptop computer. Now, this expression is pay an arm and a leg. An arm and a leg, how much do you think that would be? Lots of money, right? So if you say, I paid an arm and a leg for something, it means that you spent a lot of money on something. Once again, I paid an arm and a leg for a laptop computer. I spent so much money on a laptop computer. A very similar expression is pay through the nose. Can you pay through the nose? Probably not, right? But that is an idiomatic expression you can make use of. I paid through my nose for a new cell phone. That's true. Cell phones these days or smartphones are so expensive. So if you want to say that you spent a lot of money on something or you had to pay a large amount of money for something, try using pay through one's nose. I paid through my nose for a new cell phone. Okay, let's move on. Now, this time, ways to talk about being broke. Broke? That's the uh, well, future tense of break. In this case, to be broke means to not have any money, okay? You don't have money, you can say, I'm broke. Okay? So ways to talk about being broke. You can say, for example, I've been struggling to make ends meet lately. Make ends meet. For example, let's see, we have a line, okay? But there's a pause, okay, so. To make this line meet, what would you have to do? Say, for example, you earn this much money, this much money, and because you only have that much money, you can spend this much money as well. So, if you say, I've been struggling, you're having difficulties, you're having a hard time doing something. Make ends meet lately it means you're really, really trying to get by. You're earning this much money and you're trying to live with that much money, okay? Spending as much as you earn means to make ends meet. It's a difficult thing. Moving on, I've been making an effort to live within my means, as you know, we went over this, live within my means, which means try not to spend too much money, only spending the amount of money you have. Another one, to live on a shoestring. So, I've been making an effort to I've been trying very hard to live on a shoestring. What is a shoestring? Usually with sneakers or running shoes, we have strings to tie, which is called a shoestring. Usually shoestrings are what? They're not that long, they're quite short. So if you say you live on a shoestring, you're saying that you're living with a small amount of money, with very little money, okay? Let's move on. I'm tight on cash. I'm strapped for cash. I'm pressed for money right now. So I cannot afford to eat out every day. So do you get an idea of what these expressions actually mean? I'm tied on cash. You're very, very tight. You don't have enough cash. You're strapped for cash. You're also strapped. You don't have enough money and you're pressed for money or cash. It also means that you don't have enough money. There's only a limited amount of money that you can spend. You can say, I'm tight on cash, I'm strapped for cash, or I'm pressed for cash or money. All right. Okay, now I guess, oh, we do have one more left. 
Also, we, a way to talk about being broke. You can say, I used to. In the past, I used to rake in money, or rake in the money is also used at times. Make a lot of money all at once. But now, I'm flat broke, okay? We did talk about being broke, not having money, but if you say flat broke, it's just a way of stressing it, okay? I'm flat broke, meaning I really don't have any money. I'm very, very broke. So keep these expressions in mind, everyone. Practice them on your own and make them yours. All right, let's move on. Now it's time for today's idiom, everyone. You know what to do. Sit back, relax, stretch your arms and legs, and enjoy the segment. Today's idiom, of course, has to do something with money, and here it is. Tighten one's belt. Well, of course, there is no money in this idiom, but it does have something to do with money. So tighten, you're tightening your belt, okay? What does that mean? Here is a sentence. Another huge phone bill. I'm going to have to tighten my belt again this month. So what does that mean? You get a huge phone bill. What do you have to do? Tighten your belt again this month? Well, the definition of tighten one's belt in Korean is 허리띠를 졸라매다, okay? So in English, it's to spend your money very, very carefully, all right? To spend sparingly and, of course, avoid wasting money. Here is another sample sentence with tighten one's belt. In such a bad economy, in such a terrible economy, we all have to tighten our belts, okay? We all have to, we all do, we all have to tighten our belts. In such a bad economy, we all have to tighten our belts, which means, right, spend money sparingly, uh, sparingly and not waste money. All right, that is all for today's idiom. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk about how you generally spend money. What are some common items you purchase in a given week? What do you tend to spend your money on the most? What was your last issue you had with money? Discuss your money spending habits in detail. First of all, I don't spend my money on the wearing stuff. I think the last time that I bought my clothes or shoes was maybe six months ago. And I don't like electronics, which many people these days are crazy about. Whenever the new version is released, they try to buy it, but I don't. Then when do I use my money? I'm eager to spend my money on my cultural life, like movie or music. I go to theater to watch movie, and I pay for the music and download it. I never use illegal method to download music. Also food. Food is important. So even though the price of food is expensive, uh, if the quality is good, I'm ready to spend my money. Okay, hope you enjoyed today's actual interview. Another job well done. 조성아님, 감사드립니다. Thank you for the great work on the actual interview. So, of course, we asked him where he usually spends his money or what he spends money on. But what did he say? Hmm. It sure sounded like he is not a big spender. He tends to save money or he spends money very carefully. Hmm. Does he buy clothes for himself? No, not too much, but he does seem to enjoy life by going to catch movies or listen to music, and that's what he tends to spend money on. Let's check out some great points from the actual interview. Now, he said, I think the last time that I bought my clothes or shoes, we're talking about these things, was maybe six months ago. Wow. Hmm. I think I buy myself maybe a shirt or two every two weeks, or at least once a month, I think. But yeah, he's saying I don't spend that much money on clothes or things to wear. And he said the last time, okay, the last time I bought clothes or shoes was maybe about six months ago, meaning a long time ago. Let's check out one more. 
and I don't like electronics. Okay, which many people these days are crazy about. So he's talking about what usually, generally, people tend to spend money on. That's right, electronics. People may spend a lot of a lot of money on electronics, but I don't like electronics, so I'm not crazy about it. Great way of answering the question. Okay, let's check out some oopsies, small common mistakes that people make. He says, whenever the new version is released, they try to buy it, but I don't. Well, at first glance, you may wonder, hmm, what's wrong with that sentence? It looks fine to me. But for example, if he was talking about a certain device, a certain gadget, for example, like a cell phone, a smartphone, or whatever, then you can say the new version because we're talking about it, right? Okay. Then you can say this, but it would be better because he's talking about electronics in general. You can say whenever new or newer versions are released, people try to buy them, but I don't. So once again, if you are talking about a certain device, it is okay to say that. But he's being very broad. In general, he's talking about electronics. You don't know what it is, so you can say whenever newer versions are released, people try to buy them, but I don't. Okay, I never use illegal method to download music. Now he said that he spends money on music, but he does not do this. Well, I never use illegal method. Kind of sounds awkward, right? So a great way of changing that is I never use illegal methods. Okay, all right. To download music, wonderful. So talk about illegal methods. There's not only one illegal method; there are several. So say illegal methods to download music, or you can also say I never download music. Illegally at the very end. I never download music illegally. I never download movies illegally. I never do so and so illegally, which means to use illegal methods to do something. So job well done, everyone. If you happen to make the same mistakes, fix them, change them, learn from our actual interview. Job well done. As always, I guess the easiest way to learn things are through mistakes. So it is quite fine to make mistakes, everyone. I learn from mistakes, and I'm sure you do as well. So keep those common mistakes in our actual interview in mind, and try to fix them on your own. In the meantime, try going over the expressions and the words we learned today related to money. So, for example, the next time you talk with your friend or have a conversation with someone or have to do an English interview. And the topic happens to be money. Instead of just using salary, try using words such as income or even paycheck, which all mean the same thing. And also, when you talk about spending money on things, try using words such as expenses or even expenditures, which happens to be、uh, another word we learned today in today's actual talk. Okay, everyone. Now, in the meantime, let me let you know what we'll be talking about next time. Our next lesson is going to be on news. Now, maybe not the different kinds of news. We'll touch upon that, but we'll focus mainly on how you enjoy the news. Do you watch the news on television? Or are you always on the go, so you happen to check it out on your smartphones? Or since you're always sitting in front of the computer, you may check the news online. So we'll talk about that next time. In the meantime, come to our homepage at www.ebse.co.kr. Search for Tenipo Actual Speaking and leave us some comments. You're more than welcome to come by and say hello. Okay, everyone, job well done. That is all for today. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.